Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner, and we are back again for another video where we are doing kind of a breakdown of what, what's going on with the US Olympic trials. So this is night two, so Saturday of the US Olympic trials and the highlight and what has happened. So um, the first event that we'll start with is the decathlon. So the decathlon took place pretty much all of Friday and then it kind of continued on and I feel confident that we have some good people that hopefully will do, do really, really well. Um, now, I will say this, there's really only four people that we kind of could see happen or could see winning this. Um, so Heath Baldwin, which is a name that we wouldn't know yet because he is <laughs> Fresh out, I think he's still in college. He goes to Michigan State from Kalamazoo, Michigan, was destroying the field. He already was winning after day one. And then he just kind of continued that and just and, and just kept going. Now, um, everyone did eventually catch up to him to a certain extent, but he was the favorite to win and he did just that. He won. Um, and then... Zach Zeman, I think is his name. I don't know how to really say it. We'll, we'll put it here. Another person from Illinois. He um, has been to the Olympics. So he educated us as viewers is that he wanted to be the first or second, I think, Olympian or decathlete to go to three Olympics in a row. And he accomplished that and he got, you know, second place because the top three gets in. And by the way, all three of them have the Olympic standards that they end up going through. So it's fine. And then the third athlete who ended up getting in was another guy named, um, his name was Harrison Williams. And the guy that they thought were going to possibly be in a contention uh, or in contending was Kyle um Garland, but he got injured fairly badly um, sometime, I think, in the middle of night one. And so he actually had to like quit in the middle of day two. So that was kind of heartbreaking. So, and he was kind of the favorite. So they had that. And then the other thing that was interesting that I've never seen before, I guess it happens every year and I just never paid attention because. I'll be honest, the decaf the decathlon is so hard for me to follow because there's so many events and it's a lot of watching TV. Um, but um, because I was sniffling, I was like, let me just watch this whole thing. And also now, um, what's different, I think, from this Olympics, from previous Olympics, is all the coverage is on Peacock. And if you have Peacock, you can watch it all on your own time. So that's what I've been doing. I'm just like, okay, I'll just watch it on my own time. Um, but anyway, they had um, a guest from Grenada. Um, I forgot the reason why they have them do this, but he was there kind of doing his thing too. Um, but clearly not trying to qualify for, <laughs> to, to compete for the U.S. But I for, they did explain it and I don't remember. But anyway, that was kind of a highlight when it came to like the decathlon and the top three runners. And so those are... Um, though, those are the people who are going to the Olympics and I believe, no, last night's winners were the first to sign the Eiffel Tower. So they have this Eiffel, this silly Eiffel Tower thing where it has like a pad around it that the athletes are signing, you know, kind of saying, Hey, we're going to Paris type thing. So that's kind of what I'm getting at with that. But yeah, that was the highlight with that. And by the way, I'm not going to be covering all the events on this channel because there's just some events that. I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't really watch it and I don't really know the names and I don't want to be fake about it. I care, like, as you know, I'm definitely more of a track person versus field person, but if it's a noble name, we'll mention it. So we'll just, let's go with that. Anyway, so then the next event I want to cover
Okay, so the men's shock put. Um, I'm just going to mention it just because it's kind of a big, you know, it's kind of the same. It's the same people. Okay, so for the men's shop put, Ryan Crowder is kind of like the main guy that has been the dude for a while. Um, they even had a segment yesterday where he was, um, with, um, he was talking with Peyton Manning, like, so I think they're trying to make, trying to make these um, Olympic trials a little bit more interesting. So they had him talking to Peyton Manning about throwing and stuff like that. Um, the other thing that I forgot to mention was we did see the heats, of the one, the men's 100 meters. And one of the things that was kind of notable, which we'll, you know, talk a little bit more about on the video, the, the following video, is Snoop Dogg was sitting next to Noel Lyle's mom. And Noel Lyles is like the clear favorite to win the, for the men's 100. He's like basically the Shakari Richardson. He's the male counterpart. Like they're the two faces of sprinting, of the sprinting world right now. So, yeah. But anyway, so Ryan Crowder won. Um, Joe, um... Kovacs, second place. And then Peyton Alderdahl was third. And a side note, regarding the shot put event, I forgot to mention that um, Joe's wife is actually his coach and also was selected to be the U.S. shot put team's coach for the Paris Olympics. So she already had it. She already had her ticket to Paris, so she was just waiting for him to like do what he needs to do to get there too, so it could be a family affair. Um, I just thought that that, that was kind of cool, so um, him and his wife can kind of just do this together because they're, they're a business, like you know, they're they're a team. Um, when it comes to like you know the, their relationship as you know significant others, and then they're also a team when it comes to the business of um, track and field. So they're going to be there together in Paris. And so that was the other kind of cool story that was happening with Shop Hook besides um, the um, Ryan Crowder situation. And by the way, Ryan Crowder has a similar um, kind of thing going on as a Ping Mo, where this was like his, this is the only time he's competed this year because he's been kind of plagued with injuries. So this will hopefully give him some time to you know, rest, recover, so that he can perform when it comes to the Paris Olympics. So um, just a little bit more, um, I wanted to get provide a little bit more information when it came to the shop book event, because I actually do believe or not follow that event a little bit more, maybe because in high school, I probably could have did that because I was a little bit more heavy, heavier set in high school. And I kind of thought about it, but I just didn't have a lot of upper body strength, but I had a lot of lower body strength, so I probably could have made it work. But anyway, not here nor there. That's just a side note. I just wanted to add to that. Third, and those were the same three that ended up going to the Olympics last year or so. Not, or not last year, but four years ago. It's the same people who went to the, well, not four years ago, three years ago, because the Tokyo Olympics was in 2021 because of, you know, the pandemic. But anyway, so that's pretty much a highlight with that. And all three of them have the Olympic standard because, yeah, so there's that. Okay, last but not least, um, the main event of Saturday, and the main reason why I wanted to watch was to see my girl Shakari Richardson. Because, oh, by the way, so the women's semifinals for the 100 meter happened earlier during the day. So we saw who advanced on to the finals and then, um, and then voila, the finals. So let me talk about what happened with the semifinals earlier on that day. Shakari Richardson, she um, got in a much better start than the start that she had on Friday. That Friday one, she kind of, oof, she recovered. <laughs> she kind of did the side, she did this like side thing when she got out of the blocks and didn't go forward right away. It was weird, but anyway, she, she recovered and she got, you know, clearly she got through. Um, and then the other two names are pretty notable that got through to the finals for the women was T.T. Terry. And those of you who probably have watched this sport for a little bit, y'all know that that's like her training partner. And Melissa Jefferson, who's also 
Shakari Richardson's training partner. Like they're all on the same training team together. So all three of them got on to the finals. And when I tell you this finals was everything and it was the cutest finals ever, <laughs> I liked it personally because number one, Shakari Richardson, she won that. She, she kind of dominated the field a little bit. So this is a good sign that she might come back with the gold again and do what she does best and that's get better. Um, but right behind her in second place was Melissa Jefferson and in third was T.T. Terry. So that coaching staff is happy, okay? <laughs> Their whole team's going, like, oh, we all going. So they kind of had this woman, they're all three of them embracing because they're like, ah, oh, we did that. Yeah, we trained together, we ride. You know, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were doing that. And Melissa Jefferson, she's improved a lot, a lot. So I kind of do expect her to do some things and she's been improving. Um, the past couple of years, she's been improving because she's been on the relay teams same thing, and T.T. Terry, she's consistent. I'm not necessarily going to say she's improving, but she is consistent. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because um, we found out before the final took place is that she, because she had like a band on her like thigh, she's been having a nagging like injury for some time now. But... Um, she turned on when she needed to turn on, so it doesn't matter. She got through, and now she has a couple months to get it together and get her training right and then get, get to the Olympics. So, And T.T. Terry was one of the women who ran that amazing anchor and got the U.S. women the goal for the 100 meters um, at, at the Tokyo Olympics. So she, she can do what she needs to do when she needs to do it. So there's that. Um, but yes, yeah, so that was kind of the highlight of what happened on Saturday. Um, the main event was clearly the women's 100 meters. And yeah, I guess that concludes the video for today. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka The Melon Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.